Hello everyone, welcome back to the Crafty Concepts with Erin YouTube channel. Today I have a scrapbook layout for you featuring the Backyard Bliss collection from Close to My Heart. You can see this is a really beautiful garden theme collection. I am going to be scrapbooking some gardening pictures today. Now I am going to be creating my own design, but I do want to show you in the July through September 2022 catalog, if you flip open to page 20, they have the Backyard Bliss scrapbooking workshop. So what this is, is if you get the workshop option, you get, you know, these die cuts, you get bonus pattern papers and all of these uh, die cut and are like ephemera pieces, and you get to create this double page layout this one and this one aren't they pretty so if you you know maybe struggle with coming up with your own designs or you just don't know where to get started this is a great option for you they're gorgeous you can get your photos on the layouts and into the albums with very very uh, little effort because it walks you through the process it's kind of like a cookbooking <laughs> scrapbook right it's just step-by-step -step directions and you have all the pieces there for you so don't forget to check out the workshop shop option if you if that appeals to you but I have the paper pack and sticker sheet here I'm also going to be bringing in the pocket cards I have this backyard bliss scrapbooking stamp how cute is that you can make little seed packages and the garden would be a great title option too love that Let's take a quick look at the paper before I cut into it. This is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. You can see definite, I mean, how cute are those chickens? I love them. And plant dreams, pull weeds, and grow a happy life. I love these. Simple pleasure, living in the moment, or simple pleasures, living in the moment and do all things with love. And then this little boot with flowers and the watering can. So cute. Love it. These are the pattern papers. They're all double-sided and I already have them flipped over so you're looking at all of them at once. So this is a set. You can see the other side is this one. It almost looks kind of like grass. And then this pattern is so pretty. It's got this almost like a watercolor wash on the background can you see that and then these are like the hero papers so this one definitely has that garden themed feel to it but if you didn't want to do gardening photos you could easily flip this over use the floral side which is the opposite pattern and just have a really nice collection of papers for you know just about any Thing, really this would be really versatile for so many different photos but I am definitely using this because I think it is so cute and then this set of pattern papers I could get a whole stack of these because I know I would use a ton but this one is like a chicken wire look and then wood grain wood grain I'm a big fan you can never have enough wood grain paper so let me clear these out of the way and we will jump into today's project so I've got my Versamat here. We're doing a single page, so I'm just gonna use one Versamat. And then I have three photos. So I am spending time in the garden, which I love doing. And so there's my, my good and loyal dog, Moss, who's just hanging out by my side. And I'm planting these bell peppers, a whole row of, well, different, lots of different kinds of peppers. But I printed these to three by four, and I'm thinking of doing kind of a, you know, just a linear row of photos, kind of like that. So now we get to decide what papers we want to use. And I am kind of thinking of maybe doing a frame style layout where we have this as the border. Maybe, let's see how this wood grain looks as a background. So we have lots of greens. There's the wood raised garden beds in the photo. And they're just natural earthy tones anyway. So they're gonna work, even if you didn't have those colors in the in the photos themselves. And then maybe we'll accent with this. Yes, I like that. So what I'm gonna do is go cut off all the zip strips. That's the branding strip on the top, which tells you all the colors and the name of the paper pack. And on the other side, it is you know a quarter inch by 12 strip that you can use to embellish your layouts. So I will be right back. Okay, so I cut this down to 11 inches and then we're gonna, like I said, create a frame style layout. And I do get asked this quite a bit, so I thought I would show it. It's been a while since I showed it. To gut the inside piece of the paper, you wanna use your paper you know, trimmer, of course. And how you do that is just give yourself a little bit of room to adhere this, right? So we have a half inch margin all the way around. So what I'm going to do is put my paper at one inch 
and then we'll go up to the 11. You can see the measurement there. And then just cut up to the one on your ruler here. Okay, and then we're gonna rotate the paper, put it back at the one, and repeat that all the way around. So you wanna pick this up, put your you know blade down where you want it, and then close it. Okay, so that's gonna give us a little bit of border to adhere to. And then we're saving all of this pattern paper in the center for another project. One more cut. And now we have this nice piece. And if you didn't quite line up your corners, which, you know, that happens to the best of us, no big deal, you just snip it with a pair of scissors, just like that. And like I said, this will be perfect for another project. You can even use that and create another frame style layout or something completely different. Okay, so I got that adhered down. I did run around the edge of the wood grain paper with mocha, which is one of the featured colors, just to give that some further separation. And again, I'm thinking I wanna do this with my photo. So this one, these two are kind of, you know, obviously nature and a candid shot. And this one, I'm looking at the camera. So I thought that would be good to put that one in the center. I was thumbing through the pocket cards and found this one, You Can Find Me in the Garden, and I love it. I think that's gonna be a great title. The opposite side is oriented and horizontal, and it's a little bit larger, different color scheme. But what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking that I'm going to actually fussy cut this out so that I can overlap this banner over the top of my photos there. I think that's gonna be perfect. I don't mind fussy cutting. If you have a good pair of these microtip scissors, it makes the process a lot easier. And then you just turn the paper rather than the scissors and you get those nice even borders all the way around. And I am going to leave some of that shortbread color around just to you know help these stand out against the background. And I'll speed this up for you. I feel like if you're open to fussy cutting, you can get so much more from your products. Like instead of just using this as a rectangle, I'm cutting it out and I'm gonna make a title element out of it. Sometimes I'll even take a floral pattern paper and fussy cut all the flowers out to use as embellishments. So it just helps you use them in different ways. So I paused to kind of show you that, you know, at first I left a lot of the background over here so it looked more like a solid piece, but I didn't like that. So I cut more out. Now I don't like that. It just looks kind of funky. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of the word garden out and make these two separate pieces. Okay, so I have it in two separate pieces and it's still like to me looks kind of funny that it's I don't know. So what I'm thinking is we just adapt, right, is I'm going to put part of it up there and then the other you know second half of the title down here and now I like it so I want to bring in some of the pattern paper now this was what we gutted out of the you know base piece here and I went ahead and inked the uh, edges with mocha and I'm going to it wasn't quite long enough so I wanted it to go all the way to the top of the of the layout and the bottom so I just cut it in half and then the rest will be hidden behind my photos here and just to make it easier, I cut a piece of rosemary cardstock and I'm going to mat all three of my photos onto this. And then I can just kind of move them around all as one piece and it's going to help those stand out a little bit more against the background. So I've got all of those adhered down. Now we can put our title pieces back into place. And you know, you could just go top and bottom, but I like having them kind of staggered across the layout. And this doesn't show up very well against that background. And I still wanna bring in this pattern paper here. So let's go ahead and slide that underneath here. I love this pattern paper, it's so cute. It, it doesn't really have a direction, like all the, elements are turned different ways, but since that's showing and those are all upside down, I am going to switch that around here. And now it looks more like, you know, these are supposed to be oriented the right side up. And then we'll put that back. So you can see that just helps that pop a little bit more. And then I also have some stickers from the sticker sheet I want to incorporate. So I'm thinking if I put this kind of right here 
that's going to help, you know, define that, give it a little contrast so the papaya isn't blending into the background there. I have this big floral sticker from the coordinating sticker sheet. And what I'm envisioning is this big, just kind of cluster of flowers and garden themed kind of elements anchoring these photos. So we're going to start with this one. You always want to start with the largest elements first and then fill in with the smaller ones. I thought it'd be super cute to incorporate this wheelbarrow. Now this is the Backyard Bliss card making workshop. This is only available with the actual card making workshop. So what I'm going to do is stamp this onto white daisy. I am gonna color it in so I have intense black ink, which is alcohol marker friendly. So I've already had this uh, mounted to my block. We're gonna get that nice and inky. And I'm stamping on white daisy. You'll notice I have the little foam piece underneath. Those come with each and every one of close to my heart stamps. Now before you co color this in, you do wanna let it dry a little bit so your lines don't smear. I figured I'd show you the card making workshop. So you can see they have these pre-designed cards, super cute. And so you get the pattern paper, the coordinating card stock, the stamp that I just used, this one here, and the thin cuts. And there's even some silver shimmer trim and the envelopes and card bases. So you make 16 for of each design. So I just love this stamp. The cards are super cute. I'll make those too, but I really wanted this. And just to save time, I went ahead and colored that in already. I used my brown gray Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Marker. You can see I did the darker around the base and then lightened it up to give it some shadowing and depth. And look at, there's a little tiny slit in there. So you could tuck these flowers into the wheelbarrow. I thought that was so cute. But what I'm going to do is tuck in some vegetables. So we have a little like, what is that, a beet? Maybe a rutabaga, I don't know. I'm guessing a beet. And then here's a carrot. And I'm gonna just tuck them in there like they're the cargo in the wheelbarrow rather than the flowers. And I think that looks so cute. And then maybe just kind of right here. Perfect, I like it. And now the gray, you know, complements the gray in the watering can up top. I wanna draw more of this sapphire color up to the top and there's a sweet little bird. And so I thought he would look cute kind of perched on top of the title. But then I thought, well, why not add the birdhouse, so this is off the sticker sheet as well. We'll just kind of layer that maybe like that. And then our title will go there. And then we'll put the bird like he's just kind of perched on top of the title. Cute. I like everything just kind of connected and overlapping. So it all seems like one embellishment cluster. And now down here, I want this to spill out past my photo. So I'm just going to add some little floral elements. There's some leaves off the sticker sheet. And I just think that's gonna be a nice balance if it just kind of spills over the edge there. We don't have a lot of the sapphire color over here. So let's add a few more of these flowers from the sticker sheet. The stickers make it so easy. I mean, this layout is coming together very, very quickly. And then let's repeat that on the other side. So we'll do a, a similar leaf and then a little flower. Let's put one of these larger flowers over here and then the smaller one here. And we'll bump that over just a little bit. And I'm liking it, I like it a lot. I type my journaling up on Avery Clear shipping labels and I do get asked this question all the time if I use a full sheet every time and the answer is no. So if I have a full sheet, I start with that and I run it through my printer. And then as I, you know, it gets smaller, I may tell my, you know, printer it's a three and a half by five and just cut it down into, you know, photo sizes and then run a piece through the printer like that so I'm not wasting a bunch of paper. Hopefully that makes sense. So you just remove the back. This stuff is so handy. And then it's totally sticking to me. I'm just gonna line it up here. Let's see, I think maybe right there. I've got these dots on the wood grain paper so that makes it handy. So I can adhere one end and then just peel off the remaining sticker. And then you just want to burnish this with your finger or I have a bone folder here and you can see it's just disappearing, letting that pattern paper show through. So it looks like it's printed right on the background. Very cool, so easy to use. 
So I'm going to call this layout done. In my journaling, I just talked about how much I look forward to gardening season and what we grow in the garden. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. That lets YouTube know you're enjoying the content. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload two new videos every week for more crafty inspiration. Here's some more videos you might enjoy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!